Tommy, it's the magic of the FA Cup this weekend. What are your thoughts ahead of this one? Well, we're looking forward to it as a group. Um, obviously, we've had a, a full week's training um, up to now. And as long as we come through the, the last session in the morning mm -hmm. without picking anything further up, we're, we're in a, a good state uh, health-wise. Um, I think the, the players are in a good place. I think the club's in a good place. So um, we're looking forward to it. But when you get to this stage of the FA Cup, it's, well, it's our first game. It's not, it's not Lewis's first game. They've done very, very well to get here in the first instance and they've got nothing to lose. So, you know, we, we're well aware of the, the scenario we've put ourselves in, but we'd rather be in it than not. And uh, we look forward to the game. Well, that's it, isn't it? Obviously, Lewis are doing well in their league. You can look at it on paper and say they're a couple of divisions below, and you know people will be like expecting us to win. But it's not as, as simple as that when it's a cup game, is it? Yeah, it's a one-off scenario. You know, it, it, if we win, we're supposed to win. If we lose, then we're we're awful. You know, so they have nothing to lose. It's it's you know the biggest game for them this season in terms of their cup competitions. I'm sure. Um, and like I said, they deserve credit to get to where they've got to. Um, but we're going to treat the game, or we are treating the game exactly like we have. 15 league games we've played um, hopefully we we will put in a performance worthy of the the preparation that we've given the players um, and if we do that then we, we'd like to think we, we do enough to progress but there's no god-given right to anybody um, going through a cup competition and I've been on the on the receiving end of, of bad results and I've also been on the uh, in, in a team or part of a team that is uh, had tip the skills the other way and make sure that we've gone through as the underdogs. So we'll be treating them with with no less respect than anybody we have faced this season so far. Obviously, it means nothing to our current squad, but historically speaking, Oldershot have not done the best when they've entered the competition at this stage. And But, you know, is this the squad that can turn that bit of a jinx around? Well, I look at the group of players that trained this morning. I think there's only two of the lads who would have played in last season's uh, game when, when they exited early. And so before that, none of these players are used to what is in the people's minds of who've been here histor historically. So I think that's also relevant to our the way we've been playing and the results we've been gaining at home. Everybody said when I first come in, you know, oh, we never win at home. Well, these players are winning at home and they are not losing too many games at home. So from that point of view, we we have to carry on what we're doing now, not looking back to what we were, what the club was doing historically. We'll never forget that, but we've also got to make sure we, we try and make our own memories. And coming into this game, obviously, there's no better way to do it than the result we had at the weekend, three points and ending Solihull's run. So is that given a bit of a boost to the lads this week? Well, it's certainly given a, a boost to the lads because of the result. I said it to you on Saturday, ending Solihull's run was of little significance to me. Um, all I wanted to do was, once we'd scored the goal, was to finish the game 1-0, which we managed. Um, I think the players who, all of them played in both the games at Altrinum and at Solihull, would have been really, really disappointed only have taken one point from the two games. I think on the Monday before we, or sorry, the Tuesday morning before we went to Altrinum, if you'd offered me three points from the two games, I'd have probably taken it. Um, and the manner in which we got them was really nice because we, we didn't get anything in the first game and we did did in the second. So we've ended it with our tails up a little bit. Um, a lot of plaudits have been given to a lot of people this, this week, which mean nothing. Um, and that, that will be treated the same as it does every time people keep telling us how well we're doing. We just look at it and think, right, that's 15 games out of the way. Let's repeat what we've done in the first 15 and the next 15, if possible, because it's been a decent start of the campaign.